Book 210. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about Prophecy 2025, the fall of the Catholic Church. That's right, Prophecy 2025, the fall of the Catholic Church. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, one of the greatest chroniclers of all time, a French man named John Fossard, was asked by the Lord of Beaufort to write the chronicles of the wars and feasts of chivalry of his time. This task, which he accepted, became a lifelong occupation. As part of his research, Frossard went to England in 1361 of the Common Era, where he joined the entourage of Queen Philippa, wife of Edward III of England. The Queen asked him to search Christendom for stories of knights and squires to add to his chronicles. While researching these topics and others, he recorded in his works what has become known as Prophecy 2025, the fall of the Catholic Church. A prophecy that scared the Pope and his cardinals so bad that the pious friar who made the prophecy was locked away in prison and they kept him there until his death. In fact, it was one of my ancestors no less who convinced Fossard to record this prophecy unbeknownst to the people who wanted it to be lost to history. And so I think it only right that I now present this prophecy to the people who will be living when this prophecy is fulfilled. And we know that this prophecy will be fulfilled because all other prophecies made by this friar have come to pass, including the capture of King John. One day, a pious friar called Brother John of Rose Talir stood before the cardinals of Ostia in Oxy, and he gave them the prophecy in a parable. He told them that there once was a bird born with no feathers. When the other birds heard of this, they all went to see him, and even though he had no feathers, he was still beautiful. They then said that since he had no feathers, he could not fly, and if he could not fly, he could not live. Now wanting him to die, all of the birds decided to give him some of their own feathers. When they did, the bird became the most beautiful bird in the world. When he saw his new beauty, he became puffed up and prideful, and he looked down on the very birds who gave him their feathers. So the other birds returned to him and began taking their feathers back. The bird then realized the error of his ways, and he begged their forgiveness and asked if he could keep the feathers that they gave him. The other birds forgave him and once again gave him their feathers, but they warned him that if he ever got puffed up again, they would once again come and take their feathers away from him. Then, at a predetermined time in the future, the bird once again became prideful, and as promised, the other birds returned and took back all of their feathers. The pious friar, Brother John, then explained that the bird with no feathers was the Catholic Church. And it was the people of the earth that gave their possessors to the church to make her beautiful. But the church had become prideful several times because of what it had received. And so, Brother John prophesied that a time would come in the future when the people of the earth would grow tired of the church's ego and they would turn on the church and take back from her all that they had given. And based on other things recorded by the chronicler Frosart, the prophecy will be fulfilled in the year 2025. And the people of the earth will rise up against the Catholic Church and all of her treasures and possessions will be taken from her by force. And the bird with no feathers of its own will go back to the state of her birth. And so the morning motivation of today is prophecy 2025, the fall of the Catholic Church. Many of us have been held up by others during some of our most difficult times, and many of us have held up others during their own trials and tribulations. Beware of becoming prideful over things that have been given to you by others, because those same things given can also be taken away. Even the life that you have can be taken. Stay humble on this earth, even when you are doing well, or a time may come when you are predetermined to fail. So, enjoy all that you have, but keep pride and ego far from you, and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great, and you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.